get your start. Someone told me the other day that I was a millionaire, and I said, you mean that I have millions of dollars of debt? Uh, I'm not self-made at all, really. I come from a family that was in business in Texas. We were in the funeral parlor business. We were in the burial business, uh, burial insurance. We were in the mattress making business. We were in the uh, skating rink business, and we were in farming. So I grew up in a family that was business oriented. Uh, so that I had the exposure, and it's easy when, um, when, you, when you breathe the business before. It's true, we didn't run a 500 company. Uh, um, we were not a, uh, in the 400, uh, top 400 uh, millionaires in America, but uh, we had good uh, business sense uh, drummed into us by our mother and father. And so that it was easy for me to go into business. And I mention this because so often we uh, blame black people for not being successful in business when we've never had the opportunity to be exposed. I think generations after this, my children, my grandchildren, I, all the people who work here with me, and this will be replicated by other black people all over the country. When you've had people who are your grandparents and your uncles, aunts, all in the business, you've seen it every day, you've talked at the table as we did as youngsters, it's easy. Then, As a matter of fact, right. shame if you don't go into business, if you had all this exposure. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Then why the Sutton family and not the Jones family? And they lived on the same block, and they were both black. Why your Again? family? No, no, that's interesting, because um, once in New York City, when someone was coming to the Board of Estimate, when I was a member of the Board of Estimate, President Board of Manhattan at that time, a black woman came, and she was supporting white people who were not for integration of housing here. And she said, I don't want those people living on my block. I work four days uh, uh, on what job, six days another job. She said, and I work 24 hours a day. And she went on to tell how difficult it was. Um, I said, Miss, I went through law school and graduate school working two full-time jobs, mm -hmm. 4 to p.m. until midnight at the post office, and then from 12.30 to 8.30 in the morning, I was a conductor on the D train. Then at 9 o'clock, I went to graduate school at Columbia. And then when I finished graduate school, I went to law school. And I did that. And then on weekends, I worked. I was a waiter on weekends. But the reason I was able to do that is because I had been taught as by a father and a mother that I was going to succeed. And I'd come from a climate. So what makes the difference? That the difference was a father and a mother, and my father had a father. Mm -hmm. My father was born in slavery, but his father sent him to Texas with an older sister with money. Again, there was this culture that we came out of. So what makes the difference? When you're beginning and you've never had the experience, it's more difficult. But when you have a culture, a background of working, so what made it easy for the Suttons wasn't easy for the Joneses. So what I'm about now trying to make the Joneses mm -hmm. and others interested and make it easy for them by giving them opportunity. Now, very frankly, in much of our business, I look at the um, things that I'm doing, and I say, now, why am I at my age doing this? And the answer comes back to me, because I want to see something. I want to build an institution. I've lost more money than I've ever made. Um, I just finished, uh, this is ironic, for the Apollo Theater, I just guaranteed $16.9 million. And they gave me a thing to sign. I just finished signing it on Thursday of last week. It's called a keep well clause. I'm 65 years of age, and they're saying that I should keep this company in order until I'm 92. Well, obviously, I'm not going to do that. But the point is, I was willing to sign it. I was willing to sign it because I wanted to be an institution. And in the course of doing that, I've lost a lot of money. I've lost a lot of money because instead of just making money for myself, I've gotten into other ventures, many of which have failed. Um, I, for example, had a small business investment company, and uh, we invested some $3.9 million. It wasn't much money, uh, but it was our money. Hmm. Uh, and we got matching monies from the SBA, uh, but we lost it all. And only one venture succeeded. Now, why did we do that? We did because we thought we ought to do it. It would get other minorities into business. We had Hispanics, we had women, and we had black people. And only one succeeded. And that's Bob Washington's, I shouldn't say only one succeeded, only one is now in existence. Three of them were sold, not by us, but by people that we invested in. And uh, so I guess that you can consider them successful. Now that was out of 17. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the answer is that I believe so strongly that we would have uh, 
the, in the things that involve getting minorities into business, that we have invested in things that maybe good judgment would have dictated we'd not invest in. But I don't have any regrets. I think it was the right thing to do when I did.